What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you some of the best Cydia tweaks that you can install for your newly jailbroken iDevice. Alright, so this is basically just going to be a bit of a walkthrough and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite tweaks, some of the tweaks that I use on a daily basis. So first up is OXO. This is a really cool tweak that manages your backgrounded application. So as you can see here, you actually get a full screen preview um, of what you've got running in the background. So you can see here that I've got some settings. I've got Skype open here. You can see what conversation you were in last if you can actually see text that small. Also, if you uh, just go back into OXO and swipe to the left, you've got some music controls here. And another swipe to the left will show all of your toggles. So you can toggle your Wi-Fi, toggle your Bluetooth. You can turn your brightness up and down just by dragging that little slider um, and of course also if you wanted to close any of your applications you can just swipe down and that will close your applications so next up I will show you unfold so if you just lock your iDevice instead of sliding to unlock you can just unfold it almost as if it's a piece of paper uh, so it kind of gives a cool little animation effect so that's a really simple and easy one all right so next up is full force so as you can see here if you have some applications that are not optimized for iPhone 5 they're gonna have these black banners uh, at the top and the bottom but with full force you can just go into your settings tap on full force and let's turn that application on so now if you just kill your backgrounded application and reopen it. It will actually uh, optimize the display for the iPhone 5 so I can actually see a lot more um, in the top and the bottom so it doesn't just stretch it out um, uh, and distort the aspect ratio. It actually keeps it looking nice and clean um, and it looks a lot more optimized for the iPhone 5. So that's full force. Um, next I'm going to show you percent hooks law. If you've noticed uh, when I open applications and close them uh, the animations are actually quite a bit snappier, quite a bit faster and that's because of a tweak called percent hooks law. So let's tap into this and you can just set the animation speed for things like opening applications, closing, um, going to the next page. Let's say you're on Safari and you've got a couple tabs open uh, to tab to the next page. It'll be a lot faster. So let's uh, first of all decrease the stiffness so you guys can get a sense of how this works. So when I press the home button, you can see that there was a bit of a, uh, a slower bounce there. Uh, but if I go ahead and increase the stiffness to something like 500, you should be able to see that it is uh, quite a bit faster. So see that? The animation there to close the application was a bit faster, opening applications and so forth. So that's Percent Hooks Law. I actually really like this application. Um, I didn't know if I would like it or not at first, but it does the job um, and it makes it feel a little bit snappier. So that is Percent Hooks Law. And All right, so next up is Now Now, and Now Now is a bit of a, a replacement for Siri, so let me show you. Apple.com so there you go. So basically instead of using Siri, you get Google's implementation of a uh, search assistant there. So let's go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorite tweaks that are more classic. So if I just swipe from the bottom here, this is uh, Zephyr. Um, so instead of pressing the home button or uh, double pressing the home button rather to go to your um, your backgrounded applications there, you can just swipe up. Zephyr I've been kind of on and off about. It's a decent application, but sometimes it gets in the way. Uh, also, we've got IntelliScreen X, of course. So IntelliScreen X just allows you to do things like keep track of your mail in your um, notification center. You've got Facebook, you've got your Twitter feed, and you've got your RSS feed. All of that directly from your notification center so that's a really nice useful tweak now there was a five dollar upgrade for this tweak um, but you do get a free trial you get to use it for three days uh, before deciding to pay or not um, spring to mice too as you guys can see um, the pattern of my icons along the bottom of the dock there are kind of convex um, and also you can add let's say uh, I think you can add up to 10 different applications in your dock if you want to. Uh, you've got animations you can uh, customize, icons you can set. So there's lots of customizations that you can do with Spring to Mice 2. Um, next up we've got swipe selection. So let's go into an application where I can write. So let's make a new file and let's make some text in there. So swipe selection is really nice because instead of having to uh, tap and hold and drag to go to where you want to go to, uh, what you have to do is just tap anywhere on the keyboard and drag just like that. And if you want to select some text, then you can just drag the shift button or the uh, delete button. So just hold the delete button 
and drag and that will select some text. So that's really useful. It makes editing text on your iPhone a lot easier or on any of your iDevices. Finally, one of my favorite tweaks, one of the most useful tweaks, and uh, usually the very first tweak that I get when I jailbreak my device, multi-icon mover. So with multi-icon mover you can tap several tweaks or several applications rather that you want to move to any of your uh, springboard home screens and there you go you can just move them all at once so this makes it a lot easier to move around your icons on your home screen so I hope you guys enjoyed that video now what are your favorite tweaks uh, for your newly jailbroken iDevice or a jailbroken iDevice that you've had for a while um, leave those in the comments below I would love to hear what you guys have to say also make sure to subscribe for some more videos um, I'll be going over some of the best tweaks and themes for the month of January also make sure to check out jailbreakcity.com for more themes tweaks news and reviews this is Justin from jailbreakcity.com and I'll see you guys next time